Alrighty, I'm in the greenhouse, facing the opposite direction as normal. You normally see me facing, I'm facing that way and you're facing that way, but this time it's the other way around. Um, <clears throat> thought I'd change it up for you. So this morning we was going to get the pots at the local uh, greenhouse supply store and they was closed. So I'm not sure why they were closed, but they were. Um, I'm gonna go over some pot, some some of the pots that we have and some of the pots that we need. So we bought a bunch of six inch pots, six inch, six inch diameter. Um, so they're six inches across the top, and I think they're like four inches deep. Um, we have a, we had a bunch of those. We bought we bought this fall after the season was over with, but they, they got their new shipment of stuff in a lot of it. And we need we need uh, four packs, which we got a case of them this fall but we need three more three more cases of these there's uh there's 800 of the there's 800 of these in in this case and i need three more cases of those um i need i can't remember how many thousands of these four inch ones four and a half inch ones i need we have a fair many but i need i think 450 comes in a case and i think i need two or three more cases not counting what we have um and the hanger baskets we got enough 12s that we bought this fall with the hangers there's 50 in a box and there's only 25 hangers in a box in a case so which is kind of weird but so we, we got enough 8 inch and we got enough 12 inch but we don't have enough 10s i need another case of 10 inch and one more case of no sorry two more cases of the hangers because these hangers these hangers here work for the 8 and 10 inch pots um, so we need another case of those, two more cases of those, one more case of tens. And we have enough eight-inch pots. Um, so yeah, we don't need a lot of pots. We need a fair many, but not a whole lot. So we got pretty much the garden plan is pretty much wrapped up. Our seed order has been done. We ordered seeds. Um, we ordered the seeds the other night, um, and actually some of them came yesterday. I was hoping the rest would come today, but they didn't come yet. So I'm not sure when they're going to come. I, I thought they was going to come today, but I guess they're going to come Monday. So I'll, I'll probably, when they come, I'm going to do a video on that too. So keep keep in touch, keep keep us tuned in. We'll be a video probably Tuesday, maybe Monday evening or Tuesday evening on on the uh, seeds. I'm um, not sure when it'll be. Depends on when the seeds get here. Um, so we've got the seeds ordered. We got a bunch of the starter plugs ordered, which we buy a lot of our plants. A lot of the flowers that we buy, they come in flats. I'll show you the sales trays they come in. So you know, um, like our petunias and geraniums and all that, we buy we buy those in in sale trays. Um, let me get down here. Sorry for getting out of the screen. They come in sale trays. I'm trying to get them apart. They come in sales like this. Um, I reuse these because I, I we plant a lot of our seeds, like our vegetable seeds, and some flowers too. As far as that goes, we do start from seed. Most most all of our vegetables, except for our peppers, some peppers we start, but most of them we buy the plugs. Um, I'll go over all that here, probably Monday's video or Tuesday's, whichever, whatever day the, the seeds come, I'll go over what we buy and why we buy what how why we buy it the way we do. Um, I'll go over all that then, so that'll be Tuesday. So right now today, I'm just going through here, looking, we already counted our pots this morning. We already wrote down what we needed. Um, so when the, hopefully, hope, they were closed this morning, so I don't know why, but they were. Um, so hopefully they'll be opened Monday or Tuesday and uh, the wife can go over and grab what we need. But so I'm gonna clean up the sunflowers, as you remember, people that watch me a fair bit they know that these sunflowers were hung probably september october somewhere i can't remember i'd have to go back the videos video when i harvested them i'll uh, put a link to it below and uh yeah so these are just going to be bird seed i'm going to harvest these or get most of them harvested today and this this here i'm going to move i'm going to move it down here on this side to the outside wall it'll be right above this oh, sorry It'll be right above this. I'll screw it to this to this table here. Um, I'm gonna put it on the outside wall because I th I think that on the in the center. This past spring, um, people wouldn't walk around it for some reason. They was, I don't know why, but you you'd get some traffic down this way, but not a lot. 
most of the traffic went down the middle aisle and then up, up that other aisle. Most of it didn't come down this way. And we had a lot of hangers, hanging baskets here. Um, we had to move all that stuff up there because for some reason people won't walk around. So I'm gonna move it down here so they can see it's more open. And I need to put that rod that our hangers are on. I need to put two more of those in. We got two in now, one there and one over there. I need to put another one about right there and then another one about right there somewhere. Um, Cause we need more space for hangers. Um, I can't remember exactly how many hanging baskets we're gonna do this year, but we're gonna do for here to, to sell for here is gonna be like 130 or 140 of them. And I, I need two more, two more rows. I can only get 30 on a row. So I'm gonna have some for the auction too, but they're gonna be the hangers I take to the auction at this point in time anyways, maybe I may take some of the flowers too, but the ones I want to take to the auction is going to be uh, cucumbers. I'm going to take some pickling cucumbers and some seedless burpless cucumbers. I'm going to put in hanging baskets and take those to the auction. Um, just see how they do. They seem to sell pretty good last year. We didn't, we didn't sell any like that last year, but they seem to sell good that way. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to work on getting the seeds out of those and try to clean some of this mess up and try to figure out how we're going to map this out for the spring i'm not sure i won't get all that done today by no means but and also got some lights some lights that came from ge current i'm going to hang a couple of those in here and i'll probably put one in my wood shop but the ones i hang down here i'll show you when i hang them um yeah so anyways i just put the one those because it gets dark so early and in february this greenhouse will start booming in february so i need to be able to see after five o'clock um so I need lights in here, um, and that's just gonna be to see. So I'm gonna work on that, work on the sunflower seeds. Um, I'll show you at the end, at the end of this video, I'll show you how many I got. So stay tuned, don't go away. And uh, so for now, I'll see you. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, as you've seen, I was cleaning out the uh, <clears throat> seed pods from these sunflowers, and I want to make a note of something for everybody, me to remember, and for everybody else to know. Um, I've never done it like this before in these hanging baskets. I thought it would be a good idea to put them in them hanging baskets to keep the critters out of them. Um, it did work, but the only thing it did, it doesn't get enough air in there. A lot of them got moldy. If you can see how moldy that is. I'm not... I'm not cleaning them out. I'm going to, as much as I hate to, I'm just going to throw them out. In a, I'm just going to take them up there by the uh, bird cedar and let them lay. The birds can eat them in the, in the thing. So the ones, the ones that are hanging, like this, this one here, or, or a lot of them down through there, and the ones that was on this shelf, they, they're all good. Um, and I got a fair bit of, I got a fair many seeds. There's a lot in there. So these these ones here, I may I may go through them and look at them, but for the most part, I'm not going to mess with them. I I don't want that all that dust and whatnot floating around in here with mold in it. I don't want that. So whatever whatever I get out of them, I get out of them. Whatever I don't, I don't. But they're just bird seed anyways. I wasn't going to worry too much about it. But I wanted to make a note of that for everybody to remember. Don't put them in there. You don't get enough airflow, and you don't get enough airflow in those to dry out your uh, seed heads properly. One more thing too, one stupid useless fact that you all may know or you may not, I don't know. But, um, so if you grab a seed head, this this sunflower, let me lay this, set this down here. If you grab this sunflower, this, this here head, it was probably one and a half times that big when it was actually still a flower. Each one of those seeds was one flower. That whole head was several hundred flowers was in that head when it was when it when it was a sunflower. 
now that it's seeds, it's just seeds, but every seed has its own flower attached. Okay, I didn't get a whole lot of seeds, um, which is okay. I learned a lesson anyways. Don't put your seeds, flower heads in a hanging basket to uh, I think you're gonna get enough airflow through them holes in the bottom to do any good. A lot of them look like that. I got it all cleaned up, but man, it made a mess. So the ones that are hanging and the ones that were on the shelf were all good. And there was a few in the hangers that was okay, but um, I still got a lot of seeds. But they're all for birds, anyways. They're not the ones. The ones that I wanted to keep, I already got. They're in. They're in the house um, for seeds for plants for next year. So I'm not too concerned about it. But lesson learned: don't put them in hanging baskets. You think they're going to dry out? Because they won't. So uh, anytime you want to save sunflower seeds, save them a different way than what I what I tried to this summer. So lesson learned. All right, I got all the sunflowers cleaned up, as you can see all the way down through there and i didn't get many as we discussed a little bit ago i uh threw most of them in the i threw them down there by by a uh pile of firewood but uh, the only reason i did that's because there's chipmunks and birds and all that crap down there so i figured they needed something to eat this winter but anyways for the bird cedar or bird feeder that the wife fills up i got some for in it but not a whole lot um most of them I threw out, like I said earlier, because the experiment didn't go good. But anyway, so that's going to wrap this one up. Um, I don't know when it'll do. I'll probably, I'm going to work on this here today. I'll probably film it, and I'll get that video out sometime. But, um, and then I got the one for the seeds and all that stuff. It'll come out next week. So I'll probably, you'll probably see three or four this week coming. So until we meet again, take care and God bless.